Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Isn't it good to be here with you? It is. It's so good to be here. Wow. I hope you are doing amazing. Truly, I hope you are doing absolutely wonderful, especially if you are in California. I bet you are feeling the scorching heat that it's already coming upon us. Well, yesterday was what? In the high 80s. Today is going to be mid 90s. And so why am I talking about heat? Because I love sun. I love the warmth. I love the heat. I think every time I look at the sun, it just brightens my day. But it's not only my day that it brightens. I bet it brightens so many people's day. Actually, sun just gives us this lightness. It's, uh, we look up to sun for light and it's happy. Talk about happy. Do you know that today is National Smile Day? Hmm. You didn't know. So, yes. And, um, yeah. So, what is smile? Um, I talk about healing a lot since this is the work I am in. Um, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Lisa Bubari. By trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress and anger management consultant, and the founder of a Heal Within, a healing center in the heart of Glendale, and we are in California. <laughs> For a moment, I was like, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I truly enjoy smiling. I do smile with my eyes. I smile with my heart. And when I hug, I hug fully, like full on hugs, not this little pot. So, um, I don't know how you hug. Share with me. Do you hug full on? Do you hug on a side or you do this beautiful air kiss? I know COVID has changed a lot of things, uh, but it hasn't changed me. Uh, although I am more cautious when I hug, who I hug, right? Uh, but it hasn't changed the way I hug. So if I have the opportunity to hug, um, I even hug my clients, believe it or not. Especially, I got to tell you this, I have clients... Um, teenagers or the kids that I work with when they come in they might be stern or uh, uh, hesitant about the therapy that we are doing and as they are live leaving guess what we hug we hug as they leave um, so let us talk about smile and why I'm talking about smile because years and years ago uh, there was a book that I read and then I started studying it and the book and this um, theory was by Dr. Um, Norman Cousins. Uh, he became a doctor or a lot of people said he was a doctor, but let's say Norman Cousins. And if you haven't heard from him or not from him, but of him. In his novel, Anatomy of Illness, he talks about how he healed himself, his chronic um, uh, chronic illness that he had. And he was given so many prescriptions and he was prescribed this medicine, that medicine. A lot of doctors could not understand that he was suffering from a chronic illness called ankylosing spondylitis that in itself was attacking his immune system and he was as i said on a plethora of uh, medicine so one day he sits and is watching a video someone told him why don't you watch this video while you're at home and he was homebound and the video was comedy and he started laughing so that laughter, he said, well, I like that. And he started watching another video and then another one. And guess what? 
by watching video after video and then it, he be, he became obsessed with it and he started watching more videos comedy shows and everything that made him laugh it started shifting things within his body so going from the pain level it affected his immune system by positive thinking uh, it became an action so first you've heard this do the positive affirmations and thinking but when you do the thinking in order to go from pain in order to go from stress to a point of feeling good feeling relaxed feeling joy and being happy the laughter when we laugh wholeheartedly <laughs> it's an action your body starts moving right so as your body starts moving even tony robbins talks about it it's affirmations with a movement becomes an incantation so positive thinking taking an action brings you to creating a new habit and what is it that i say we create habits when we do something over and over over and over over 33 days why because as humans we are conditioned with mathematics and counting uh, a minute a second a day uh, a, 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 a month a year so everything we do even architectural is numbers um, they measure everything dancing is number music is number so understanding that everything in your life is mathematics and we are conditioned by that how we shift a habit is to a positive is doing something over and over for 33 days that means the longest day in the month which is 31 days once you bypass that and because we shift things and change by moving towards our most dominant thought pattern so if you're thinking about pain and saying i can't do this and if you are stuck in the i can't you are enhancing that thought pro uh, process but if you step out of where you are your comfort zone and you take initiative to take an action what I call show up stand up speak up right and as you start doing this and put in thought action now you're creating a new version of what was into a new habit so if you can do something for 33 days of course you can do something for the next 27 days you build on your success level not on the negativity we build we step up on the things we are becoming successful so today as you see is talking about what brightens your day what de-stresses you and what laughter can do to help you so how does laughter and joy and even laughter starts with a smile and when you smile with your heart when you smile with your essence when you start with all your energy and you smile you brighten not only someone else's life but yours so smile decreases stress as a matter of fact you can even text no stress to 818-221-2797 and I will gift you my audio recording stress no more right so by all means again let me say that text no stress to 818-221-2797 and I will gift you my hypnosis audio recording to help you uh, have less stress and no stress okay so smile laughter help you decrease uh, stress levels it also brings uh, not only uh, stress levels it helps with your hormones 
and uh, lowers the stress of hormones and reducing physical tension. So if you are holding some kind of an anger or you are um, like in a fight mode and blame mode and you're on this tantrum thing and someone says something funny and <laughs> it just breaks the momentum, right? It breaks all momentums and yeah it shifts from this tightness this anger to okay i can laugh i can smile and when there is a smile it's like the sliver of light and sun and brightness that comes into your life so the next thing it strengthens your immune system yes believe it or not it's not of course pain or stress or blame or hurt and trauma but it is joy laughter smile cuddles hugs love and kindness and gratitude and gratuity and gratefulness and that is pure what pure love goodness light serenity yeah. Mm. yeah you can even breathe when you th think about that it improves what your mood as a matter of fact looking at me smile and have this energy I have been receiving so many messages that they say I love your energy my energy is this my energy is the same i am here than when i am there when i am upset of course i am upset i'm not laughing or uh smiling when i am upset because that is one emotion that i also embrace embrace your emotions so if you are up upset with something stop denying your anger or being upset and once you accept it remember evoke it embrace it and once you embrace it you that's your reality and then you express it by expressing it and then replacing it with something that makes it lighter better or more positive that's how you evolve so smile also works with when you laugh it's all the muscles <laughs> they go into this expand and contract expand and contract i bet you anything there is other things you can think about that also expand and contract right we women know that so by knowing this even your mind expand your mind and think outside of the box and you will realize there is so much out there that if you don't know you don't know but when you open yourself up to knowing to experiencing getting out of depression is to go somewhere and take a walk especially if you can do a walk on the grass barefoot barefoot right breakfast and um barefoot what was that old movie breakfast oh my god with paul newman and all right i'll remember it um so they walked a barefoot and on the grass and realizing that the connection of the bottom of your feet on the grass and feeling grounded and if you look up and you look in the sky you see the blue vast sky even if there is clouds remember you can release and let go and just release all your tension all your worries all your doubts everything just as if you're blowing it all the way up and just imagine that the clouds take it and as they softly move ever so gently the cloud moves away it takes away all your doubts your pressure your illness your pain you can release all of that yes you can even all the stressors 
Not, it doesn't happen because I say so. It's going to happen because you're going to think about this. You're going to go outside and do this. And then realize the more you smile, the more you laugh, the more you bring this into your life, it becomes your new habit. That even if you are upset, it becomes easier for you to shift into this mode of, you know what, I'm upset. I'm going to take a walk outside and I'm going to ground myself with Mother Earth, with the grass, with green, which is emotions, the color of emotions, the color of plants that give you oxygen and vitality. And the sun, which is yellow, brightness, warmth, heat, cuddle, it also works with your solar plexus, which is you digesting, digesting light digesting happy digesting kindness that you give to yourself right so if you agree you can even say yes yes you can write here um, make a comment thank you very much and I want to also say that laughter reduces pain it increases positivity and no matter what is happening in your life and I mean it no matter hi Sega John hi Adrian Shimiki haven't talked to you in such a long time barefoot princess I don't think that's the one I'm talking about said uh, I think it was Barefoot Princess. Is that the one with Paul Newman? Uh, anyhow, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was Marilyn Monroe and Breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. Breakfast in the rooftop. <laughs> something like that. It's something to do with the rooftop and breakfast and. I, oh my God, I am so bad. But anyhow. So I want, um, I will come up with it. I thought you, of all the people, barefoot princess, maybe that's it. Okay, so let's get back to stress no more. Again, if you want to receive my audio recording and have no stress, 30 minutes of listening to this audio recording and just releasing all your stress and letting go, you can text 818-221-2797. So, when was the last time that you recall just doing a belly laughter? that you heard a joke and it was so funny you laughed and laughed and or there was a time and a place in your life that when you think about it and you just can't stop laughing about it um an experience right an experience that you have banked Breakfast at Tiffany's with Audrey Heffer. See, I knew it. Breakfast in Tiffany's. I knew it had something to do with breakfast and going and walking in on the grass. Yes, barefoot in the grass. Robert Redford. See, okay, Robert Redford, Paul Newman, best friends. <laughs> okay, I'm dyslexic. So, and they were best friends. Paul Newman, Robert Redford. I was first thinking about Robert Redford and Barbara Streisand two icons but it was Audrey Hepburn and Robert Re Robert Redford and Aub Audrey Hepburn breakfast um, at Tiffany's wow yes and they were in the rooftop and they were lovers in this beautiful small little cozy thing up there in, near the rooftop and you know when we think about it even the word Tiffany's Mention it to every woman. What is the color of Tiffany's? Every single woman knows it. We do. There is no way that there is a woman that has come to age uh, and does not know anything about Tiffany's. Why? It's embedded in us. The diamond, the box, the color even we know the logo of it 
and we see the box, we automatically think, especially if it's a small little box, you automatically know what could be in that box. Now, also, there's people who know the box of Cartier, the red box with the beautiful gold emblem. And that's called marketing. But the moment we see the box because of its message, it brings a smile to every woman's face. Why? It's called knowing what's in it. It brings joy thinking that there is a proposal, that when there is a proposal, the message is, I feel loved. When I am loved, I giggle. When I giggle, I feel good. When you propose, that means you too love me. And this unity is amazing. That's called smile. And even if there was a person with a pain and you present them with their box, it's an automatic smile. So do you realize the power, the messaging of what we do, who we are? We are ourselves walkie-talkie messages of what we represent in life. So when we think about, you know, social media, I don't want to be personable, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. Stop thinking about the things you do not want to, even being in here. The word, the name of my business, Heal Within came about because I healed within through hypnotherapy over 24 years ago. And believe it or not, it's exactly over 21 years, over two decades that I have been practicing. I've gone all the way up and down, up and down in my line of business, but I am still practicing helping my clients to heal within to evoke what was, and that's my method, the three E, to evoke what was, that means let us go back into the experience, find the cause and bring it to surface so that you can embrace it, embrace the reality where you are, either trauma, either pain, either um, whatever challenges, difficulties, habits, anything that you are facing right now that it's no longer conducive to your well-being, to your health and wellness, you must embrace it. And once you smile, once you embrace, once you say yes to you, that's when you come to evolve to what it is that you want. Evolving to your dreams become reality. Evolving to living a healthier lifestyle. Evolving to feeling absolutely amazing physically, mentally, emotionally. And what is amazing? It doesn't mean pain-free. It means that even if I do experience it, I know how fast I can overcome it. That even if I go in that funk, which I do too, I know how to get out of it faster than ever before. So I work with my clients, giving them tools and techniques. And today, one of those tools is go walk in the sun. Go walk barefoot on the grass. Become one with yourself. And today, as a matter of fact, driving to work, I was thinking about this. Hmm, suddenly I just become so aware, so aware of my surroundings that as I am driving, not only being aware of where I'm going, who's around me, complete awareness is just like suddenly I am so aware of all the surroundings that I realized for the last month, I have absolutely no radio in my car. No sounds, no talk, no radio, nothing, no music. Why? I want to become one with my own thoughts, 
what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking before I go to work. As a matter of fact, if there is anything, I'd like to clear it before I come to work. So, today's message, smile because you are awake. Smile because you can see. Smile because you can hear this. Smile because you can move. Smile for who you are. And then use the techniques to let it go, release it, release it upwards, release it downwards, and every step that you take, you say thank you. Gratitude. Gratitude and gratefulness. Be kind to you. So, again, I'd like to give you no stress my audio recording and I want to say may this day bring you much joy and be kind to yourself and it is hot in here <laughs> so see I just became one with what I am feeling I said it I expressed it now I can just ah <sighs> Be good with it. Thank you for being present. Thank you. No barefoot in the park. Breakfast at Tiffany. Uh, actor was George Papard. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I should have Googled that one. And this is what I love. I love my community. I love you and I thank you. And until next week, keep smiling be happy be with joy and if there is anything i can help you heal within by all means contact me message me call me i am here for you until next week i bid you goodbye god bless you and may the universal light surround you at all times bye bye Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the, the testimonials that I've got, right here. And if you want to go back and watch other videos,